ഒന്നാം പാഠമായി നിശ്ചയിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നത് ഒന്ന് രാജകുമാർ പതിനെട്ടാം വരെ പതിനേഴ് മുപ്പത് വരെ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ലെസൺ മിസ്റ്റേക്ക് ഫ്രാം ദ ബുക്ക് ഫസ്റ്റ് കിങ്സ് ചാപ്റ്റർ എയ്റ്റ് എയ്റ്റീൻ വേഴ്സസ് സെവൻറ്റീൻ ടു ഫോർട്ടി ആഹാബ ഏരിയ ഓർമ്മയോട് ആദ്യത് ഇസ്രയേലിനെ കഷ്ടപ്പെടുത്തുന്നു എന്ന് ചോദിച്ചു അതിനെ അവർ പറഞ്ഞത് ഇസ്രയേലിനെ കഷ്ടപ്പെടുന്നതിൽ ഞാൻ നീയും നിന്റെ പിതൃഭാവനും നിങ്ങൾ യഹോബയുടെ കപ്പലുകൾ ഉപേക്ഷിക്കുകയും നീ പാർമുഗ്രഹങ്ങളെ ചെന്ന് സേവിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നത് കൊണ്ടുതന്നെ എന്നാൽ ഇപ്പോഴാണ് എല്ലാ ഇസ്രയേലിനെയും ബാധിന്റെ നാനൂറ്റി അമ്പത് പ്രവാചകന്മാരെ ഈസ്രയേലിന്റെ മേശയിൽ ഭക്ഷിച്ചു വരുന്ന നാനൂറ് ആശേര പ്രവാചകന്മാരെ കർമ്മൻ പ്രവർത്തി എന്റെ അടുക്കൾ കൂട്ടി വരുത്തുക അങ്ങനെ ആ എല്ലാ ഇസ്രയേൽ മക്കളുടെയും ആടുകൾ ആളെ അയച്ച് കർമ്മേൽ പ്രവർത്തി ആ പ്രവാചകന്മാരെ കൂട്ടി വരുത്തി അപ്പോൾ ഏരിയവർ അടുത്തി എന്ന് സർവജനത്തോടും നിങ്ങൾ എത്രത്തോളം രണ്ട് കോടിയും കായ് കായ് വെച്ച് വെക്കരുത് യഹോവ ദൈവങ്ങൾ അവനെ അനുഭവിപ്പിക്കും ബാലെങ്കിലോ അവനെ അനുഭവിപ്പിക്കുന്നു പറഞ്ഞു എന്നാൽ ജനം അവനോട് ഉത്തരം ഒന്നും പറഞ്ഞില്ല പിന്നെ ഏരിയവർ ജനത്തോട് പറഞ്ഞത് യഹോവയുടെ പ്രവാചകനായി ഞാൻ ഒരുത്തരം മാത്രമേ ശേഷിക്കുന്നു ബാലിന് പ്രവാചകമാർ നാനൂറ്റി അമ്പത് പേര് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് രണ്ട് കാളെ ഒരു കാളെ അവൻ തിരഞ്ഞെടുത്തു ബന്ധം ബന്ധമാക്കി തീയിടാതെ വിറകിനെ മറ്റേ കാളെ ഞാൻ ഒരു തീ ഒരുക്കി തീയിടാതെ വിറകിനെ വയ്ക്കാം നിങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങളുടെ ദൈവത്തെ നാമത്തെ വിളിച്ച് അപേക്ഷിക്കുന്നു ഞാൻ ഹോമയുടെ നാമത്തെ വിളിച്ച് അപേക്ഷിക്കാം തീ കൊണ്ട് ഉത്തരമാക്കുന്ന ദൈവം തന്നെ ദൈവം ഞാൻ നീക്കട്ടെ അതിന് ജനമല്ല ആ അത് ഞാനുടെ വർക്ക് ഏത് ഉത്തരം പറഞ്ഞു പിന്നെ ഏരിയ ബാലൻ പോലെമാരുടെ നിങ്ങൾ ഒരു കാളയെ തിരഞ്ഞെടുത്ത് ആദ്യം ഒഴുകിക്കൊള്ളുന്നു നിങ്ങൾ അധികം പേരുണ്ടല്ലോ എന്നിട്ട് തീരാ നിങ്ങളുടെ ദേവരുടെ നാമത്തെ വിളിച്ചപേക്ഷിക്കുകയും എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു അങ്ങനെ അവൻ കൊടുത്ത കാളയെ അവർ എടുത്ത് ഒരുക്കി പാലെ ഉത്തരം അറിവാടമേ എന്ന് രാവിലെ തുടങ്ങി ഉച്ചവരെ ബാലന്റെ നാമത്തെ വിളിച്ചപേക്ഷിച്ചു ഒരു ശബ്ദമോ ഉത്തരമോ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു തങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടാക്കിയ കലി പറഞ്ഞത് ചുറ്റും അവർ തുള്ളിച്ചാടിയിരുന്നു ഉച്ചയായപ്പോൾ ഏരിയാവ് അവരെ പരിഹസിച്ച് ഉറക്കം വിളിക്കുകയും അവൻ ദേവനോ അവൻ ധ്യാനിക്കുകയായിരുന്നു അല്ലെങ്കിൽ വെളിക്ക് പോയി അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അത്രയായി അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പക്ഷെ ഉറങ്ങുകയായി അവനെ ഉണർത്തണമെന്നും പറഞ്ഞു അവർ ഉറക്കം വിളിച്ച് പതിവ് പോലെ രക്തം ഒഴുകുവോളം വാളുകൊണ്ട് കുന്തങ്ങളും തങ്ങളെ തന്നെ മുറിവേർപ്പിച്ചു ഉച്ച തിരിഞ്ഞിട്ട് ഭോജനയാറ് കഴിഞ്ഞ സമയം വരെ അവർ വെളിച്ചപ്പെട്ടുകൊണ്ടിരുന്ന എന്നിട്ടും ഒരു രക്തമോ ഒരു ശബ്ദമോ ഉത്തരമോ ശ്രദ്ധയുണ്ടായി അപ്പോൾ ഏരിയ അവരെ എന്നെ അടുക്കൽ വരുമേ എന്ന് സർവജനത്തോട് പറഞ്ഞ സർവജനത്തോടും അവന്റെ അടുക്കൽ ചേർന്നു അവന് ഇടിഞ്ഞു കിടന്ന യഹോവയുടെ യാഥാർത്ഥ്യം നന്നാക്കി നിനക്ക് ഇസ്രയേൽ എന്ന് പേരാകും എന്ന് യഹോവയുടെ അന്തപ്പാടിൽ ലഭിച്ച യാഹോബന് പുത്രന്മാരുടെ ഗോത്ര സംഖ്യയ്ക്ക് എത്രമാണ് പന്ത്രണ്ട് തലങ്ങൾ കല്ലുകൊണ്ടും യഹോവയുടെ നാമത്തിൽ ഒരു യാഗപ്പെടുവും പണം യാഗപ്പെടുവും ചുറ്റും രണ്ട് സേവനത്തിൽ ലഭിക്കുവാൻ മതിയായ വിസ്താരത്തിൽ ഒരു തോടുണ്ടാക്കി പിന്നെ അവൻ വിറക അടുക്കി കാളയെ ബന്ധം കണ്ട് ബന്ധം കണ്ടുമായി വിറകു വിറകുകയിൽ വെച്ചു നാല് കുട്ടികൾ വിറക വെച്ചു ഹോമയാകുന്നു വിറകുകയിൽ ഒഴുക്കുകയും എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു രണ്ടാം പ്രാവശ്യം ഇങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യും എന്ന് അവൻ പറഞ്ഞു അവൻ രണ്ടാം പ്രാവശ്യം ചെയ്യും അതിന് ശേഷം മൂന്നാം പ്രാവശ്യം അങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യും എന്ന് അവൻ പറഞ്ഞു അവൾ മൂന്നാം പ്രാവശ്യം ചെയ്തു വെള്ളം യാഗത്തിന് ചുറ്റും ഒഴുകി അവൻ തോ 
തോട്ടിലും വെള്ളം നിറച്ചു ഭോജനയാത്ര കഴിക്കുന്ന നേരമായപ്പോൾ ഏലിയ പ്രവാചകൻ എത്തിയിരുന്നു അബ്രഹാമിൻ്റെയും ഇസാഖിൻ്റെയും ഇസ്രയേലിൻ്റെയും ദൈവമായ യഹോ ഇസ്രയേൽ നീ ദൈവമെന്നും ഞാൻ എന്റെ ദാസനും ഈ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ ഞാൻ പ്രകാരം ചെയ്തു എന്നും ഇന്ന് വെളിപ്പെടുവരുടെ യഹോവയും യുദ്ധവർണ്ണനം ദൈവം തന്നെ യഹോ നീ തങ്ങളുടെ ഹൃദയം വീണ്ടും തിരിച്ചു എന്ന് ഈ ജനം അറിയേണ്ടത് എനിക്ക് ഉത്തരമറണമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ഉടനെ യഹോവയുടെ തീയറങ്ങി ഹോമയാവുന്നു വെറും മണ്ണും തേടിച്ചു തോട്ടിലെ വെള്ളം വറ്റിച്ചു ജനമെല്ലാം അതുകൊണ്ട് കവന്നു വേണം
Lesson will be written. Today's second lesson, taken from Acts of Apostles, chapter 8, verses 26 to 40. In the Tiranda Bahu, Apostle of Pravatil, Etan Adyayan, Idwati Ahamudar, Nakud Varela, Vakhiva. Anandaran Kartal to Jordan Field was murder, Ni Elmi to Tekota, Elishleva Nenda, Gesitula Nichimai Vadi, Poka in the Padu. Our Purupit Chenna Paul, Kandaka in the Ethiopia Rajni to Urishanidu, Mahalu, our Sakhi Pandaran in the Mary Pichar in Maya, or Ethiopian Kandu. Our Asian Namaskari Pandamita, Madi Poke, Tail in the Ashia Pravajan Muslim, Waiki Ayo. Arma Philippus Noda, Ni Arthur Chenna, Tail Noda, Chirna Naraka in the Padu. Philippus Odi Chenna Paul. Asia of the Vajan is a Vikin in the Kato. Ne Vikin in the Great Room in the Chodichin, Odin Pudu Tirishitaran had any great room in the Ahamparan. Philippos Kale, Tanurumuni Ikanum in the Abishi. Tiruvel Ahamaisha Baku Ida. Arapu and the Arni Pole Amni Mundaboy. Domon Patrikan the Mumbai, Minta Tikan Punya Nipole, Ahamai Puraka.
falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it. Those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves must follow me. And where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor.
We pray that you continue to shape and mold these your children so that they would more and more reflect the image and the glory of you. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. So you know that we're still in the season of pandemic and hence the way that we're all seated. And so doing offer tree in the normal way is still not uh, appropriate. But nonetheless, we're thankful that uh, the church moves forward, and that all of our needs are being met by the overflow of the abundance that God has poured out upon us. So at this time, shall we bow our heads for a word of prayer as we give thanks. Gracious Heavenly Father, we know that we came into this world with nothing, and that when we leave, we will leave open-handed. Help us understand all that you have entrusted us with now is so that we would be able to expand your kingdom here in this land, that we would be able to glorify you and share with the world the richness of your goodness and your mercies. Father, forgive us if we have taken for granted these your gifts, if we have not recognized that we are but stewards. Have mercy upon us and enable us to be good and faithful stewards of all the resources that you have trusted with. We pray that the offerings that are being collected and the offering that will be collected at the end of service today would be used for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. At this time, we invite a single moment to give us the announcements. Praise God. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Ethan. Thanks to everyone who are with us today, both in person and online, in the presence of our Lord. First and foremost, let us praise God and offer our thanks to Him for giving us yet another chance to gather for our universal worship. Especially in a pandemic situation like things are changing, but God is keeping us safe. Let us praise. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. This is indeed a very special time of devotion and worship. On behalf of Sikhi and family, I thank the Reverend Larry Pisseton and all of the volunteers for this blessed worship service. Let us prayerfully participate in this morning communion with an attitude of gratitude. Achim will give detailed instructions to follow during the communion. As we see an upswing and communal spread of COVID cases, we strongly remind you of the importance of social distancing and encourage everyone to follow the directions of our ashes. I have two notices. Malayalam Choir, so here in MTC, Malayalam Choir would like to extend their gratitude to all those who expressed interest in joining the amazing talent group. We are still in need and looking forward to add more main voices to the team due to the ongoing pandemic the choir conditions have been postponed until further notice, but new members will be added now under this special situation. If any male voice wants to join the choir, please give your name to the one of the following. We got Director Reduce, Director Matt Jacob, Assistant Director Shuja David, or Secretary Matthew George. In his service, Matthew George, Secretary. MTCA Farmers Branch. James. Thank you. The Vigar members of Secure Mahatma Church, our annual parish convention will be held on Friday, August 27, and Saturday, August 28, 2021, from 6:30 p.m. to 8:30 p.m. The main speaker for this year's convention is Reverend Thomas Matthew P. Vigar Mahatma Church, Dallas, Carrollton. This will be an in-person convention meeting at our church, 11550 Luna Road, Dallas, Texas, 7524. On behalf of the Martha Church of Dallas, I would like to invite you and members of your parish to the convention. Thanks. Abby George, Secretary of the Martha Church of Dallas, for Ms. Branch. Next one. Trinity Martha Church. Houston, the Trinity Martin Church, Houston Parish Convention will be from August 27th 
through August 29. The convention speaker will be none other than our uh, language. The theme, Kingdom Building Through Families. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Psalms 133 verses 1. The dates and times, Friday August 27th at 7 p.m., Saturday August 28th at 6 p.m., Sunday August 29th, uh, Assemble uh, conducted the uh, communion, uh, the online uh, service as well, the divine service as well. Please remember our action in your prayers and uh, prayerfully participate in all these conventions as I announced. On behalf of our entire secret family, I praise God and the first United Methodist Church Plano for allowing us to use this beautiful sanctuary to worship and glorify our Heavenly Father. Our special thanks to the lead pastor Matt Gaston, Ms. Stacey Spears, the Director of the Ministry Administration, for granting the permission again in Christian love. Our thanks go to the ABT Master for setting up all the equipment for us and uh, helping us uh, to conduct this service. My special thanks to Prasad of Provision TV, who graciously accepted our request to live stream this release. Thank you, Prasad. Condolences. As we all know, our Manoj Kurula's father, Mr. M. P. Mrs. P. K. Kurula, was called into eternal mercy in India. On behalf of the Union Martyrdom Church, I extend our deepest and heartfelt condolences to the grieving family. Please continue to uphold them in your prayers. Based on the latest, latest information, the funeral service will happen uh, Monday around noon. I will share all the details as I get that from them. Now let us look at the activities planned for the upcoming days. Monday, August 23rd, Sahir New Fellowship Bible Study at 6 30 p.m. at church. Wednesday, August 25th, High Education will be continuing there by Wednesday Bible Study with the Guardian at 7 p.m. on Zoom. All are requested to attend the raising informative sessions with the prayer for heart. Please remember to visit our YouTube channel for previous week's Bible study. Saturday, August 28th, Sahir and Sahir and Sahir are sent prayer meeting at 9 p.m. by Zoom. Saturday, August 28th, Sahir and Stars meeting at 11 a.m. by Zoom. Our Honourable Dr. Anita Martin will lead the session about arthritis or other person to attend. Sunday, August 29th, Divine Worship Service in English at 10.15 a.m. by Zoom. Since Larry's will be conducting the uh, Trinity service and uh, including the convention, Reverend Newman Samuel will join us from Houston. All are requested to pray for the attendance service. Please note this, Sunday, August 29th, Sahir and Niti prayer hosted by Murphy area at 7 p.m. via Zoom. Murphy's prayer will be uh, on Sunday at 7 p.m. instead of Saturday. By God's grace, we are nearing the end of our church restoration work. The carpeting of the sanctuary has been completed, but the remaining flooring work is continuing in its place. The counter and cabinets are being placed, but its finishing and polishing will happen in the coming weeks. Some of the other major works remaining to be completed are the AV, networking, plumbing, electrical, painting, and cleaning. Thank you to everyone for your continued prayer and financial support during this time. Please remember our church and all its activities in your personal prayer. It means a lot. It keeps us moving. Once again, I thank you for attending this service and have a blessed day. Thank you. So once again, let me just uh, remind everyone uh, the key takeaways or just two things that I want to re-emphasize. One, we are in need of male members for our choir, anyone who has any interest as well as a corresponding uh, talent to please uh, let us know and we, uh, 
choir would love to join your voices, uh, your voices with theirs. Uh, also, uh, please keep in your prayers the uh, Trinity Convention. Achim just recently uh, informed me that uh, he has uh, contracted COVID and his uh, one-year-old uh, baby also has uh, COVID, tested COVID positive uh, by God's grace. They are doing better, but continue to keep them in your prayers. This is why the convention there has been shifted to an online model uh, entirely. Uh, but nonetheless, because I have made that commitment to them to take service with them, uh, in my place will be a woman, Samuel Achen, who will be the divine service here. For our short meditation today, I want us to look at the gospel passage that was read. It comes from John chapter 12, verses 20 to 26. John chapter 12, verse 20 to 26. It is the expression of this strange, counterintuitive uh, gospel. You have a group of Greek people who commonly want to see Jesus. Now, we're not really told exactly how they came to hear about Jesus. We can only speculate, and there's some pretty good speculation on this. The fact that perhaps he just raised Lazarus from the dead. I'm sure news like that would definitely spread. The fact that he had healed so many people, uh, he was uh, a powerful and dynamic rebel, and that he went into the temple and knocked out all of the uh, unjust money changers and their practices and their tables he toppled. And so that definitely would have uh, rallied up some external support. The fact that Jesus comes riding into the town on a donkey, which sounds like a strange thing to us, but for them it would have been very uh, easy to understand what Jesus was doing. Jesus was coming as king. Uh, if you go back and look at the Old Testament, the king, after returning from war, when he comes bringing peace, he rides in the town on that donkey. If the king rides in the town on a horse, that means trouble. But when he comes on a donkey, that means good news. And so all the people have just welcomed Jesus, right? We're in Passion Week, according to this passage that we've read. And so for a number of reasons, Jesus is a pretty impressive character. Perhaps this is why the Greeks wanted to come and, and gain an audience with him, to meet him. It's interesting that uh, you have Philip and Andrew who bring him over. They don't just tell these guys who Jesus is. They're like, come and see him. Because they also had a very similar experience when they had questions about Jesus. Jesus said, come and see And so they follow the path that Jesus said. They come and they meet Jesus. Now, after hearing all of these amazing things about Jesus, uh, you can anticipate a level of excitement that these Greeks are going to have when they meet Jesus. This is the one that everyone's talking about. And he starts to talk and he says, you probably are expecting the moment that you've all been waiting for where I'm going to become the king, the political leader, and this is going to be really exciting for you all. But instead of saying any of those things, he says, unless a seed dies, it bears no fruit. But if it does die, then it will bear a lot of fruit. Listen carefully. If you love your life, you lose it. And if you let go of your life, then you'll gain it. Learn to let go. Learn to give up. Then you'll experience what real living is. If I were this person, or a part of this group that came to meet Jesus, I would, I would, I would be like, what? what? What does any of that have to do with all the excitement that we came and had with us when we saw you? What does it mean when you're saying that a grain needs to die and to bear fruit? This seems a bit strange. Well, this is the whole point of Jesus' life. The whole point of Jesus' life was teaching us that there is a better way of living. But how will you ever let go of the old way? Unless you are able to be convinced that there is a new way. Uh, there is this, uh, that's a silly riddle, uh, you have an empty uh, water bottle, it's empty, so it's filled with air, and then the, the riddle goes like this, try and get rid of all of the air that's in the bottle, without touching the bottle. Without touching the bottle, get all of the air out. It's kind of, it seems like it'll be easy, but then you think about it, you can't crush it because that's touching it, and you can't mash it with something else because that's still part of the touching. And then the, the answer is this, you take water and you 
pour it in the bottle. There's none. You have to, you have to fill it with something else. You have to replace it with something else in order for it to then be worth it. Just getting rid of the old self is very difficult to do because we need a self. We need something. And Jesus comes offering a new way of life. But in order to catch on to this new way, you have to learn to let go of the old way. There is a, a, a very obvious and, and well-known kind of teaching. If you ever want to become a lifeguard, they tell you that it's our natural tendency when we're drowning is to grab onto something. And so if you are a lifeguard and you're swimming out to that person who is drowning, and you approach them from in front, they will grab onto you, and you will both be in big trouble. Instead, knowing that human beings have this nature to grab on, you have to approach them from behind and grab them. And once they know that you have hold of them, they won't feel the need to grasp on. They can relax, they can let go. And there is a, um, a, a musician that I uh, like. Um, I don't even know if any of the youths these days know who he is, David Crowder. And uh, David Crowder got the CD, and by the way, CDs are these things, these circle things, that you would put into like players. And, and music would come out. Um, I don't know if everyone knows this nowadays. <laughs> so it's really hard to, to know if you understand that I'm joking with the masks. I'm just going to assume that you understand that that's sarcasm. I do a lot of that. So uh, on one of these CDs, there's this bonus track where he sings in very dramatic fashion, everybody wants to go to heaven. And then there's this pause, but nobody wants to die. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. It's this idea that we want to somehow hold on to the, the thing that we have because we think that's life. But when we hold on to it as hard as we do, we're really missing out on the fullness of life. Later on in one of his other songs, he has this really cool lyric that uh, he says, uh, like the lighting of a match or the sinking of a ship, letting go gives a better like the light of a match or the sinking of a ship, letting go gives a better grip. It's very counterintuitive to let go because it's so ingrained into us. It, when you see a newborn baby, you know what they're really good at? Really good at grasping. Uh, at that weight level, they can grasp far above like what a lot of other people, uh, older, can you know, proportionally grasp onto the mold. And, and you've seen it before. You see a little lady, you can just put your hand, finger there, and they just, they just grab on. Like, do they think they're going to lose you? I don't know. Like, why do we need to hold on so tight? But there's something in us that just has trained us this way. And the gospel, the gospel is trying to untrain us. The gospel and Jesus is trying to teach us, let go. Let go. Keep your hands open. If your hands are open, ironically, they will never be empty. If you go to the beach, if you go to the beach and you want to grab a, a handful of sand, what happens? As in, as in, as in, no matter how hard you grasp onto it, it just kind of seeps out. And though you started with a big lump of sand, um, you end up with very little sand in your hand. But there's something quite interesting. If you, if you just get a little wet and then keep your hands open, you can carry a lot of sand. It's a silly example, but this is... This is the, the, the shadows of the spiritual truths that we find all around us that we need to pay attention to. We live in a sugar-coated uh, kind of culture where there is uh, sugar in our cereal, it's there in our medicine, it's there in our water, and it's there in our gospel. Where we think that the gospel is all about God giving me something. Give me, give me, give me, God. I'm ready to grab on. But the gospel has been saying something slightly different than that. The gospel has been saying, are you ready to give? Are you ready to bring others in? It, it's, it's all about letting things flow through us. It's not a, a prospering gospel of if you pray really hard, you're going to get everything you want. Or if you pray really hard or give enough money, then God will give you or sort out all of your own finances. It's funny, like, people get into debt because they buy all the stuff that they don't need and then they'll pray to God to get them out of debt. 
like, like all the stuff you don't need, maybe, and <laughs> you'll have a better chance. When we come and we find Jesus here, he says, unless a seed dies, it cannot bear fruit. When sometimes this passage in the lecture will show up close to the passion. And I'm always a little hesitant when it shows up there, because the whole point, although it's a very well placed, the whole point is this, everybody's looking at the resurrection, but nobody wants to take the path that is needed to get to the resurrection. We all want success, we all want life, but there's a specific path that God takes Jesus through that's supposed to be an example for each one of us to take. But instead, we think that letting go is perhaps the first step, like a stepping stone, like, okay, I've done step one, now what's step two? Like, I, I don't have to let go anymore now, right? Because I, I got it. I, I showed you that I can let go. But, but giving and letting go, it's the, it's the shoes that we wear. It's the thing that stays with us all the time. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15, it goes like this, as shoes for your feet. Put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. It, the idea of letting go as a, the first step is wrong. The whole staircase, the whole staircase is letting go. Jesus taught this in a very counterintuitive way because he would then eventually go on to the cross. He would take that road where he let go of everything. He let go of the people that raised him. He let go of the disciples that he so loved. He let go of his own very life when he said, Father, into your hands I come the Spirit. This, this is Jesus not losing. This is Jesus gaining eternal life for us, showing us the way that we need to go. Now the question is this, um, why did the Greeks come to see Jesus? Do they want something from why do the Indians come to see Jesus? Do we want something from him? Why are we all dressed up here? What do we come to see? What do we come to talk about? Are we here to get something or are we here to give something? This is a, a constant uh, critique that I hear among different age demographics, especially amongst the younger ones. I don't get anything out of church. I don't get anything out of church. Well, look at the word worship. And look it up in any dictionary. And you'll find that all the words that describe it are words that talk about giving, a tribute unto God, render unto God the glory that is due, and proclaim. These are all things that come from us, out of us. If worship is about giving, we really have to ask ourselves, what are we doing there? Can we hear Jesus' words when he says this to us, those who love their life in this world will lose it. Those who hate life in this world who will keep it for eternal life. Now don't get caught up on the extreme nature in which Jesus talks. The word hate and uh, such. Don't get thrown off by that. But just know that there's a big difference. There's a big difference in living the American dream versus living the kingdom dream. Why do we come to America is the question that we have to answer. What values are we going to pass on to our kids? When they come to see us in the old age, will we tell them how we got all that we got? Will we say, work hard and do good? Or will we say, unless a seed falls to the ground, you will get nothing out of it? Monet, your life needs to grow so that the people around you can be blessed. That's how we ought to teach our next generation. That's how we need to hear Christ's words for ourselves. So may the Lord strengthen us and guide us along this difficult journey. Difficult, but nonetheless doable, because we have the Holy Spirit with us. So may the good Lord strengthen us uh, by these words. Amen. If one of you could please lead us in a word of prayer.
those who have come to partake in the Holy Communion, if you would stand and say the prayer of confession after me in Mother, and then we can say the prayer of confession in English for those who would like to. Sarvashakti Bhava Tamarane, Ninika Bhavamaya, Lola Tereshvane, Tandik Rubya, Vishuddha Kriya Bhavamana Jajan, Nyakavayati Kastrityana Mujjavajan, Nyakarakshana Bhavamaya Shara Tamarane, Ninika Bhavamaya, Sagrathe Mujjivu, Asha Sutcha Shiddhi Girihimaya, Parishita Mama Tamarane, Ninika Bhavamaya, Yan Chayamaya, Sagarabhavamaya, Ainta Parma Samakaram, Satyamaya Adhanam Vreka Kurvana, Nichi Vidya Vartanam Yamasasuchu, Sagarathil Vrishya Adhanam Yamasasuchu, Vajarathil, 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 Pravartir, Yam Vrishya, Ninda Kalpurul Adhanam Yamasasuchu, Nindayashi Chikil Patavavi Yamasasuchu, Karma, Kruva Dhinamaya Kripavi, Chunkarani, Afavyasi, Kurushudachi Karani, Kaikunda Braga, and the name Kaikunda. Nindindindhi Rajmita Nindalapa, and the Ashwasit Kerana. Katale, Yana Kurva Nindirishtiru Vrakta, and the Shishavya Kim Kuratanamaya Nidhade. Jeevan Mukshakir Maki Dhir Karani. Amen. Please say the prayer of confession after me in English. I confess that I have sinned against you, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in thought, word, and deed. I'm sorry with all my heart for these my sins. I believe in your promise that you will receive all those who truly repent. O oh Lord, who is merciful and full of grace, accept me, even as you accepted the tax collector, the woman who was a sinner, and the thief on the cross. Comfort me with the consolation of your word. O oh Lord, grant that your holy body and holy blood, in which I now partake, may redeem me from judgment and condemnation and bring me to life and wholeness. Amen. May God Almighty be compassionate to all of you who have truly confessed your sins. God has freely forgiven your sins to make you worthy to partake in this holy communion. Amen. And
Let us pray for all of our young ones as they're engaging back into the school life. Let us pray for their protection. Let us pray for life-affirming decisions to be made by our leaders. Let us pray that the sanctity of life would take priority over all other issues. Let us pray for those within our community who are undergoing treatment. Let us continue to pray for our sister Andy and Red Young as they undergo dialysis. Let us pray for Selena as she undergoes chemotherapy. Let us thank God for the grace that He is pouring into their lives and into the lives of the loved ones who are there to support them through this time. Let us pray that we will be able to rejoice even more at the time of their full healing. Let us pray that God would be with our families as we live here in this land, that God would strengthen us to understand that we are meant to be like that seed. Let us pray that as we let go of the things that we think matter, that we would be able to hold on to the one thing that does, that we would be agents of the gospel message of its peace and of its grace. Let us pray for the communities in which God has planted us. Let us pray for our neighbors, our co-workers, our classmates. Let us thank God that he has put them in our lives. Let us pray for the ongoing, ongoing work that is happening in the church. Let us thank God for all those who are laboring hard for its completion. Let us thank God for this opportunity that we have been given to meet here in this church. Let us pray that God will continue to bless the ongoing efforts of this church in the community, in all the ways in which they are reaching out and enabling others to be able to have a home and to be able to find shelter and rest within the sanctuary of the faith. Let us submit all of our silent prayer requests and needs before the throne of grace. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Swarga Sanaya Namade Vidave
നമുക്ക് സ്വത്തുകൾ for taking time and attending this uh, service with us. May the Lord bless you and keep you as we go into this new week. Amen. Don't ask. 
there are uh, 